I got this set of wheel chocks for the RV, but they're good for any tandem axle trailer. Let me show y'all what's in the box. These are OEDRO wheel stabilizers for your RV or tandem axle trailer. Basically any type of trailer that has a tandem axle setup where your wheels are pretty close together, like you would find on an RV or a flatbed trailer, dump trailer, things of that nature. These are chocks that actually go between the axles, between the tires. They tighten down and they basically are like a parking brake for your trailer. So these work really well. Let me show you what they look like on the RV and how they work. All right, so I got these out here. This is our RV. This is a travel trailer that's got tandem axles and that's how these stabilizers work. So these X style stabilizers are not gonna work on a single axle trailer. So if you have a single axle trailer, these are not the chalks for you. But if you have a tandem axle trailer or even a triple axle trailer and the wheels are close enough together, like most of them usually are, you can use these style stabilizers to basically set like a parking brake for your trailer. So how this works is the fact that the tires are going to be pushing in two different directions is the science behind how these stabilizers work. This one's going up. This one's going down. They're fighting against each other and this stabilizer in the middle is holding them. This stabilizer helps one with keeping your trailer from moving forward or reverse, but it also helps stabilize it when you're in it. When you're walking around, it's actually going to be fighting against the rocking, the back and forth movement when you're walking around in the RV. So it's going to be stabilizing that also. So I have these already tightened down and you use this spindle here with the provided tool to tighten that down. This just slips over like that and you crank it left or right to tighten it or loosen it. You're gonna loosen it just enough to where you can get it in and out. You don't wanna to have to loosen it so much that you're cranking it a lot to get it back in. So what I do is just loosen it enough to take them out. And then when you go back to put them in, they're already real close to the tires. Then you just tighten it down and then it sets down on the tires pretty quickly and you're not doing a lot of cranking. The other thing I do is I keep them on the edge of the tread. I mean, all they gotta do is grab the first flat part of the tread to start working. So I make it where they're right here on the flat part, right when you put them in. So that way you have more than enough room to crank this handle and it still holds the tires just as good as if you put it in the middle or in the back or whatever. So to give myself a lot of room, I just put it right here on the edge. So all I do when I wanna tighten them is I slide them in here, get them lined up on the edge of the tread the pack comes with two stabilizers, one for each side, and it comes with two tools to tighten down these stabilizers. I only carry one with me because I just go to each side, but it comes with a spare. Then you put the stabilizer key here, and then you just twist this to tighten them down. I don't do them so tight that you're going to bend them, but I do them pretty tight. I put them in there nice and snug so the trailer doesn't move around. And then when it's time for me to go, I just come in here and then I uncrank them. And as you can see, that already started to come out. It's easier with two hands, but right now I've only got one hand. So, but that's basically the idea of these stabilizers and they work great. Honestly, I don't take my RV anywhere without a set of these kind of X-style stabilizers because they do so much to not only keep your trailer from driving off by itself, you know, it, it works as a parking brake, but when you're walking around and you got people walking around in your RV, the back and forth motion from front to back is really, really cut down because they're just holding those tires straight and keeping your RV from going back and forth. And then of course, when you put your other stabilizers down, then that's gonna help also with the rocking on the other direction and some more on back and forth. So this is just supporting your stabilizers that much more. All right, so if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. And thank you all for watching. Be safe out there.